Welcome back, everybody. We have a great Furry Friday segment for you today. So let's get right into it. We have three guests in here with our Furry Friday guest, Jack. Now, Dolly, we once knew Jack as Hugo at Metro. Yeah, we did. Um, he was at Metro. He was brought in on uh, March 31st, and he was there all the way through August 24th. Okay. Now there's sort of uh, more than meets the eye here. Tell us a little bit first about your experience with him. Well, I'm with Second Page, uh, Second Chances, and what we do is we go into Metro Animal Control and we spend time with the animals that are there um, in long duration, um, helping them with their social skills and, um, and that kind of thing, which helps them so that when people are adopting the dog, they're a little better adoptable. So um, we just spend a lot of time with them, talking with them, playing with them, walking with them, giving treats, and that kind of thing. All right, so Cody, tell us your connection and how you got involved. Well, um, we found Metro, or one of my girlfriends went to Metro, and they had a Mr. Dog up there. So she calls me, and she's like, Jack's up here. And I said, no, he's not. I thought he was, you know, I didn't know what had happened to him. He'd been gone for a long time. You had been missing him for some time. For a long time, yeah. Yeah, for about a year. So it was out of disbelief year. that he was even there. So I went the next day, and I, sure enough, it was him. And then Dolly contacted me because my girlfriend had contacted her saying, I think that's my girlfriend's dog. So Yeah, we had posted um, on several different sites on uh, Facebook, and it went viral. So there mm -hmm. were hundreds of people spreading and sharing, trying to find a home um, for Hugo at that time. And when that was making its rounds, um, it did get back to Cody's friend, like mm -hmm. she was saying, and got back to her. And it turned out that um, Jack actually, they had lost him about a year ago. Um, they lived in Glen Rock. They didn't think to look here in Casper for them, and they live where there's a lot of ranchers and farms and things like that. So they weren't exactly sure what happened to him, you know, and why he wasn't coming back. Maybe, you know, somebody yeah. might have gotten rid of him or something like that. But um, it turned out that he had got taken or something and ended up in Casper with a different uh, uh, owner, and then that owner had gotten. Um, uh, there was a situation that happened there where he was brought into Metro. So well, that's truly where she came in. a great success story here. Looks like a totally different dog than when we saw oh. him just a few months ago. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, he was. He was. He was giving up on life when he was in Metro. Um, when I put out that urgent message for him, um, he had lost a severe amount of weight. And every day it was getting worse and worse. And his demeanor was starting to drop. Um, so um, it was a good thing that Cody did find him when, when she did. I think it was just a matter of days yeah. that he wouldn't, wouldn't have made it. Cody, when you got that phone call that maybe Jack had been found, what was going through your mind? And I was just out of disbelief. I didn't believe it. And then I had to go see for myself, so me and Ezra went up and we walked those doors and there he was, just so excited to see us. So we, t we adopted him right then and there. Well, we are so happy he's back home with you and we appreciate you sharing a story with us this Thank afternoon. You. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.